The Beverly Hills reunion even put Andy through the ringer. And Dorinda Medley has a lot to say about Ramona Singer. Virtual reality. Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. And somehow we have made it to the end of Beverly Hills. I don't, I, I thought it was never going to end. I feel like it's been on for seven years, just this season. I can remember before this season premiered, I was so excited for Beverly Hills to come back into my life. And it has it has been a wild ride and a journey that I cherish, but I'm I'm kind of glad it's over. I got to be honest. When people are like, don't cry because it's over, smile because it's over. That's my thing on Beverly Hills. <laughs> well, I need a break because the drama has been nonstop so much so that even Andy has gotten in some of the drama too. I know people were not happy with Andy because of the way that he handled the whole Garcelle, Rinna, Erica trash book revelation that Rinna was the one who actually threw the book in the trash. It wasn't Erica, even though Erica took credit for it for so long, which to me is just weird. It's giving like psychopath behavior. I was gonna say, it's giving character showing. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Andy was even kind of laughing about that too with them being like, and the phone and the recycling. And then you just saw Garcelle trying to be as strong as she can, but looking hurt obviously and upset and didn't really get a moment about that. So I'm glad Andy like kind of owned up to like how he kind of like mishandled the situation on his radio show. I should have been more in tune with her feelings. But Evan, not everybody's so happy about that. I mean, no. Like, I th- I think a lot of fans think it's too little too late. A no lot job. of are upset with Andy for doing it on his non-visual platform on Andy Radio Sirius XM, whatever it is that he's got going on. And I really wish he would have realized his mistake in the moment because it was devastating he said that he had a very productive conversation with garcelle about the situation i know it, all, it always makes me laugh when it's like productive i'm like did y'all like file your taxes early like what the hell was what, what are we doing here did you apologize to her and did she accept it that's what i want to know i mean as of recording time as we are talking right now danny garcelle has not publicly discussed this oh she's alleged- working on netflix yeah <laughs> yeah she's with michelle patel Right. I I would love to know her take on the conversation with Andy. Uh, She hasn't addressed it yet. But thankfully for everybody listening, next week we had her bestie Sutton Strack on and she's unpacking the reunion, the season, and also let us know how she felt about all of that and kind of just like, I think we're all, because next week's going to be the reunion from Beverly Hills Hangover, and she's going to be your hangover helper to get you through it. It was nice to hear from Sutton. I know she is typically very measured with her words, but with me and Danny, she was she was Gavin. She was oh. ready to get down and clown. Like, she was, she was in good spirit, so we can't wait for y'all to hear that. I literally left that being like, oh, we're best friends. Maybe she'll listen to the podcast. Like, um, I listened to Ramona on a podcast. The main thing we want to discuss, because it comes into our special guest for this week, is that she called the Legacy Roni show the loser show. I was shocked that she called it the loser show because when I think about the potential Roni Legacy cast, I, I do I I'm not thinking loser. I'm I'm thinking icons. I'm thinking uh Dorinda, who who was our special guest this week. I'm thinking Luann and Sonia, Tinsley even I love Jill Saren. Loser what? Loser who? Like, Ramona, what is your definition of loser? You calling those girls losers kind of makes me think, like, you're the loser. You're the loser. And also makes me think, like, oh, do you know you're not getting called? After listening to Ebony's podcast about uh, what she said about Ramona, not even involving her, involving production people and everything like that, I'm not sure if Ramona might get a call from Bravo anyway, because they haven't responded to that. But I feel fans will have feelings if the legacy comes out the way that we think it is going to come out. I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, Ebony really, she definitely laid it out. And I, I kind of feel like Bravo doesn't want, doesn't want to touch that. I feel like she would sour that batch of apples now that it has been so explicitly said by, by Roni's uh, first and, and historical black full-time cast member. Yeah. I, I just, I don't know how Ramona would kind of move past this. And while we never know what is going on with Ramona, we thankfully got to catch up with Dorinda and she filled us in about some things. Oh yeah, so uh, check out what she had to say about Ramona. All right, so Dorinda, you had quite the BravoCon experience. I feel like I saw you everywhere and I was not mad at that at all. But I think what I loved the most was seeing you approach Andy during that Ask Andy panel. You got up on the mic, you said, when are you taking me off pause? And he gave the the response that I think we were all waiting for. He said, your time is coming. (laughs) 
He did say that this morning, yes. And the audience were thrilled. They 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 responded to the Make It Nice chant. I love that he said he's never been roasted this much since Jill Zarn. Ah. The cute thing was, Evan, is he didn't know it was me because I had my back to the mic. I cut the line. So when I turned around, I thought he was going to die. I <laughs> almost died when I heard that news because it's the best news ever, I think, in well, the Bravo universe because we're well, missing Dorinda. Well, I think so. But you know what? I think it's very exciting that they have the new girls. We're finally moving this train. Because New York City needs the girls running around. New girls, old girls, I think it's good things to come. As the whole world gets ready for a legacy, how are you feeling? How do you envision it to be, you know, cast members, the vibe? Like, what, what are you saying? I'll be honest with you, I'm not thinking about it. Because, you know, you just don't, I think the, for them, honestly, and you know better than anyone, that they really don't tell us a lot. I mean, they really do key and they do things very much on their time. Like they could call me next week and be like, we're starting tomorrow. I think that's the beauty of the legacy cast is that they're not gonna need a big lead way. I, I loved BravoCon, but I was really excited just to get in the car the other day. I knew I had this Amazon, you know, uh, partnership with the ring and the new Echo 15 and stuff. And I'm like, that's where I am. And I love that about my life now because I have that beautiful Bravo liberty, that whole city life, but I also, also have this opportunity to come back to Bluestone Manor, which you know I love and I live for. They, for God's sakes, they put a ring doorbell on that has Dracula on it. You got to listen to it. I mean, I heard this all morning long and I thought, I'm so happy to be back at Bluestone Manor. <laughs> Do you have thoughts on Ramona calling Legacy the loser show? I don't know why she would do that. You know yourself that when I was put on pause and, you know, not part of it, I just went silent. And I always believe there's such, you know, there's such, it's so many different parts of life. Silence is the best way to handle things, unless you're being paid to be messy, right? <laughs> you speak it all. No, but you know, just don't say anything. When I heard her say that, I was like, loser. Well, I know she's second, not talking about the, Dorinda. What was really the, because you'll know, because you guys are on, on, on all that kind of, anything that's messy and shit, you guys are all over. The people who they're going to bring back are people they didn't want to renew anyway. So now, so what are you going to call it? The loser show? I feel like she would jump at the chance to get back in the mix with you girls. You know, Ramona says things sometimes and you know how it is. She, she regrets it. It's, it's like showing Teresa's invitation. You know, I don't, I think she sometimes just says stuff like that. Maybe, you know, it's been a, t it's a t difficult time for all of us because we've all been in limbo for a long time. So maybe she was safely reacting to protect herself. Maybe she's worried. May I don't believe that. I would hope that's not true. Listen, like Ramona Singer, not like Ramona Singer, she is great TV. Yeah. And that's the end of the game. She knows how to, you know, get on TV. We've made, she's made, she was part of a group that made an amazing, I think one of the best. Oh, okay. no, and I'm look, and we're looking at who helped make it the best too. Well, thank you. Just, you. you don't only but make you it know, nice; you make it the best. Yes. Well, thanks. That's nice. Not always, but I try my best. <laughs> you know, I'm authentic. Um, I think that you know she probably. I, did she really say that? She did really, really say that. She said that she actually has enjoyed her time off of TV because she claims that she doesn't really like being recognized and that she enjoys fans not coming up to her as much. Her friends like it. The men she's dating likes it. She says that well, life is just easy kinda, without the I show. I believe that. you got to remember, Ramona's been doing that this a long, long time. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. You know, when I was put on pause, I was heartbroken, as you all knew. I made it very clear that I was heart. But people were, you know... Um, but it ended up being, there is something nice about, you know, sort of stepping away and taking, you know, just being back in your old life a little bit because, you know, it can be a lot for people. I do kind of love this like full circle moment you've had with her. Things are, are going great. You had to, some time to well, spend. I just say things are going, here we go, put words in my mouth. Okay, you're oh, right there. Oh, that was just the vibe that I got. Are things not great? <laughs> well, I don't know if they're going great. I said we talked with each other. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess we don't know the tone we're, of the we're talk. We're dating again. We're not, not ready to jump in bed. I don't, I mean, my pants ain't off. I just, okay. we're dating. <laughs> so, so how were those conversations? What did you talk about? You got to remember, Ramon and I have a very long history. A very long history. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Little by baby steps. Yeah. Oh, my God. And hopefully we'll see those baby steps being yes. taken on Legacy. I also like your new game plan instead of, because sometimes when I'm going to bed at night and I like, I'll sometimes think about people who piss me off. And instead of texting them, I should be shopping. Because then I wake up with no fights. <laughs> 
And you can talk your way to shopping with the Echo 50. Just talk it in there. Alexa, buy this. Alexa, I have gotten so many damn recipes from just talking to this, which is great because I want to put out a cookbook at some point. That's Ooh. awesome. <laughs> you should, you should. I, I mean, should, right? Should I mean, Bustle Manor have a cookbook? Does that seem entertainment and cookbook? Yes. I think sure. I should have a Bustle sure. Manor cooking show. Oh. Yes, and definitely need to teach us all how to make your lasagna. That is wow. apparently better Come than Brandy's. You know what? Until you see Bluestone Matter, you'll never really get it. It is it is magical. I'm not just saying that. There's something very beautiful and magical about this place. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time. Thank you so much. Have a great Halloween, you guys.